Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Corey here. I'm back with a new video today. Today I'm going to teach you guys a drum groove that I like to use in worship music when I'm playing at my church. This groove takes the songs and the emotion and the dynamics of the song to a whole nother level. And so oftentimes when I'm playing a song and it's really, really big, like in a bridge section or the tag of a song, and I feel like I got nowhere else to go within the song, I'll pull this groove out of my bag and it just adds a whole nother element to almost any worship song that you're playing. Uh, if you've watched my drum cover of The Blessing by Elevation Worship and Carrie Job and Cody Carnes, you'll notice that I pulled this drum groove out towards the end of that song. Um, when I recorded that cover, that song is so long and it's doing the same thing throughout the whole song and it's constantly building that I decided to add my own little twist and pull this drum groove out for that and a lot of people have commented and noticed it and so I wanted to break down that drum groove for you today and show you guys exactly how I do it it's very 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 simple it's just a feel thing and something you got to lock into and play tightly with your click so I'm going to break down the groove in two sections I'll do the first half then I'll do the second half very slow and then we'll put it all together so the first half of this drum groove it starts out with right left kick and crash or ride crash and then right left on floor tom kick and crash so again right left rack tom kick crash right left floor tom kick crash so very slowly it goes something like this And it's as easy as that. So keep that in mind. The second half of the groove, you're going to do an accent ghost note with your left hand on the snare, kick, hard left hit on the snare with the crash, and then an accent snare, and then another crash. So again, you're going to do a left ghost note accent on the snare, kick, hard hit left hand with the crash on your right hand and then an accent hard hit on the snare with the last crash. Very slowly it's like this. Very, very simple. So when you put the whole thing together, it sounds like this. I'll play it slowly and then I'll build it back up to speed as you would play it in a song. So there you have it. That's the drum groove that I use in a lot of worship songs. And like I said, if you want to see a good example of me using this drum groove, go watch my drum cover of The Blessing. I go to this drum beat towards the end of the song. Um, and it's cool because when you're coming out of like 
a standard worship drum groove and go into that, it just takes it to another level. Um, I'll play an example for you really quick. So I'll be playing a song and then um, I'll show you an example of how I go into the groove and how it just takes things up a whole nother notch here. So let me give you an example really quick and then we'll be done. So there you have it, you guys. That is the drum groove breakdown. I hope that you guys can use this in your church and your worship services. If you do use it, please tag me. I'd love to see you guys playing this drum groove. And yeah, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.